The Eurojet EJ-200 is a formidable power plant in military aviation, developed by a consortium including Rolls-Royce and MTU Aero engines. Designed for the Eurofighter Typhoon, it has proven its worth since the early 2000s. The EJ-200 features advanced technologies like a three-stage fan and five-stage high-pressure compressor. Its high thrust-to-weight ratio and excellent fuel efficiency extend the aircraft's range and endurance. Despite these credentials, the EJ-2000 faced stiff competition, particularly in the Indian market. India sought engines for its Tejas, MK2 and AMCA programs with specific requirements. Ultimately, the EJ-200 lost out to its American competitor. The Eurojet EJ-200 is a technological marvel, boasting a maximum thrust of 90 can in its non-afterburning configuration. With afterburner, this increases to 135 can, enabling supercruise capability. The engine's design prioritizes power and efficiency featuring a bypass ratio of 0.41 and a thrust-to-weight ratio of 10 to 1. Its advanced digital engine control unit optimizes performance and integrates seamlessly with the aircraft's systems. The modular design allows for easier maintenance and upgrades, reducing downtime and costs. The General Electric F414, the EJ2000's main competitor, produces a maximum thrust of 98 kN, increasing to 131 kN with afterburner. The F414 has a higher bypass ratio of 0.76 to 1, contributing to better fuel efficiency at subsonic speeds. It boasts a thrust-to-weight ratio of approximately 9 to 1 and incorporates advanced materials like blisks and single crystal turbine blades. The F414 employs a full authority digital engine control system, similar to the EJ200's DECU. It powers several operational fighter aircraft, including the Boeing FA18EF Super Hornet. This extensive operational experience likely influenced India's decision. Despite its impressive specifications, several factors led to India's rejection of the EJ2000. Cost was a primary concern, with the EJ-200 being more expensive than its American counterpart. Logistics and supply chain considerations favored the GE F414, which is more widely used globally. India's existing relationship with General Electric, powering the current Tejas MK1, offered a smoother transition. The potential for technology transfer and local manufacturing also influenced the decision. GE's terms were reportedly more favorable aligning with India's Make in India initiative. Manufacturing F414 components in India was an attractive proposition. These factors collectively led to the selection of the GE F414. The selection of an engine for fighter aircraft involves complex strategic considerations. The choice between the EJ-2000 and the F414 was influenced by broader geopolitical factors. The United States has been cultivating closer defense ties with India, which has strategic importance in the Indo-Pacific region. Choosing the F-414 aligns with this partnership and potentially opens doors for further cooperation in defense technology. The decision reflects India's desire to diversify its defense suppliers, reducing dependence on Russian hardware. Selecting an American engine helps maintain a balance in defense relationships. The F-414's wider global adoption makes Tejas MK2 and AMCA more attractive to international buyers. This aligns with India's ambitions to become a significant exporter of defense equipment. In conclusion, India's choice of the GE F-414 over the Eurojet EJ-200 was the result of a complex decision-making process. The F-414 emerged as the preferred option due to a combination of technical, economic and strategic factors. The engine's extensive operational history provided assurance regarding its reliability and performance. Cost considerations and logistics support were significant factors favoring the F-414. The potential for local manufacturing aligns with India's push for greater self-reliance in defense production. The selection of the GE F414 represents a balance between performance, economics, and strategic partnerships. 
This decision will play a crucial role in shaping India's future defense capabilities and international relationships.